You seven? Commander, I'm the real you seven. Commander, can't you see? I'm the real Johnny Sacco. You three, you six, look at me, look at me. No, he lies. He's not the real you seven. And now I'll prove it with this wristwatch. <gasps> oh, no. I am the only real you seven here. I told you. I just don't believe them. They both are really you seven. But the one, the one with the watch is the real one. The real U-7, no. The real U-7 is this one. Imposter, who are you? <laughs> Commander! Get back! They intend to control it with that wristwatch. Oh, no. The robot. <laughs> Why, that's Johnny Taco. What does this mean? Well, answer me. He is not you, Seven. He is a perfect duplicate image creature that I created with fourth dimensional science. An excellent job, eh? Now you will call Giant the Robot here. I... Come here. Come here. Giant Robot. Well, he is disconnected. Too bad. It's sure a good thing that it was done. I'm sure that Gargoyle had planned to kidnap the robot. I still don't understand. How did they create another U-7 just like that? Strange. They were exactly alike. Hey, Commander. How did you pick the imposter? I couldn't do it. Mm -hmm. Well, look here. Look at these splotches. You see, these marks are quite distinctive. They come from always wearing the watch. That's the clue. Commander, we must get back the watch. We cannot let them hold it. Or else our robot is dead. Launch. Robot. Go, giant robot. Why doesn't the robot come? You failed me, Angali. No, no. Don't be angry. But you failed. Just give me one more chance, Master. All right, but do not fail me again. I promise. How could they produce a duplicate human being? It's impossible. Nobody on Earth could do that. But I don't think that was an Earth creature. Yes, Mari, that's right. Who can understand the mystery that fill the universe? It could be one of the dimensions. Anyway, we must work out a way to fight this enemy. You seven, is this the glue you used to make the model? Yes, sir. I want this checked immediately. Send it to the lab to be tested. We will need something to melt it. Then we can take apart the model with it, right, Chief? <laughs> oh, it's that guy. Unicorn fool, hear me. I am Angali, the master of evil. You have temporarily stopped me from taking the giant robot, but you have seen my work. And you will see that I will not be stopped for long. I will deliver giant robot to guillotine. <laughs> Darn. Just what will he do now? <laughs> <laughs> oh, help us. <laughs> <laughs> Commander, a kindergarten.
kindergarten class has disappeared, and the reason is not known. A whole kindergarten? Those children are in the hands of Angani, and I will return them on only one condition. Put giant robot back in working order. It is up to you. <laughs> Angali, will you wait two hours? Will you please wait? No, I will not. Listen, we need two hours to get the robot put together. Uh, scientists must be very stupid and slow. Yes, they are. Will you wait, then? All right. But if that robot does not come with my U7 car, the children's lives are lost. <laughs> <laughs> we'll try, Johnny. We have just two hours now. Test out that blue? Yes. Now we know what it is. Tell me. Can we destroy it? Yes, tell us. No, not yet. Well, is there a chance? Well, it is pretty strange stuff. We need it. Do your best. We're desperate. kids are doing. Commander, we must ask. You seven? You know we must. Robot. Robot goes to Angali. There is no choice. I... He would hurt. Hurt those kids. We must do it. You seven. I'm sorry. Start the reconstruction work. Crowbot! Crowbot. Crowbot. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Already. Commander, we failed. Commander, now they have the robot. They'll attack. With that robot, they can cause tragedies. Mari, contact all branches immediately. Condition is red. Aye. and they can go into action at any time you want. Good. 
Hey, Johnny. Try to cheer up. Okay. Good. You can stand your back. Make him land right here. Giant robot, land right here. I did it! <laughs> I am the master of giant robots. I feel marvelous, Dr. Angali. I congratulate you for a magnificent job. Great guillotine, it has been an honor to be of service to you. Now, let us have a demonstration flight in honor of the Emperor. Robot, go on up high. <laughs> Circle to the right. <laughs> now the other way. <laughs> Just too strong. Well, better get ready. 
The robot's next target will be that oil. If that goes, all Tokyo burns. Go, you seven! Robot! Can you remember my voice? Robot! You must listen to me! Robot! Please hear what I say! This is your friend! Don't go that! Listen to me! This is Johnny! Robot! Robot! Robot, go on! Robot, you mustn't! Robot! Robot, you must throw it at the unicorn agent. Robot! Please listen, it's Johnny! Robot! Oh, please! Robot, throw it! That's it! And now, throw it! <laughs> Robot! Thank you! How could a robot possibly recognize a friend? I got it! It's here. It's right in this gun. It's ready. That's good. Go. Robot! Stop! I'm golly! Yeah! recognized his friend Johnny and saved them all. Evil Guillotine will try again. Watch out, Johnny Sackle.